Don't do it for it. To the, just to the left, there's two buttons. Mm -hmm. Just the one on the bottom. Okay. You got that? Yeah. Good. Right. We're doing another mock test today with Pamela. This is our third one. Are you <laughs> going to pass the dear Pamela? No. Wait and see. <laughs> Wait and see. Okay, I'll ask you one question, then we'll just get on with it. We'll get all the manoeuvres done. Could you tell me how you check your... Um, when would you put your rear fog lights on and how would you check them? I'll put the rear uh, fog lights on if the visibility is seriously reduced and mm -hmm. I can't see uh, further away than 100 meters. And I'll turn them on by um, clicking the switch twice and then pressing the uh, bottom button Good. on the left. Right, go and get your beard on. Right, go reversing that one where the chairs are. Take two. Pamela, it's painful watching you beer parking sometimes. I know there was a car to your right and it does put learners off, but you just have to be calm and get on with it. If they're going to wait for you, just get on with the manoeuvre. Now, you position the car absolutely perfect. Good all-round observation. Speed's excellent. Then when you start to go into the beer, it starts to go a little bit wide. Well, it starts to go wide. Then you, because it was going quite wide, you should have just put a half a turn on here now and your job was done. It was in perfect. Pamela, you've now straightened up too early. If this is parallel to that white line, I'll eat here with a donkey. You have a look at this pitch and see what you think. I thought you said you were going to use the white line to... To know when it's parallel there's no way this is parallel have a look at that Check out Pamela staring in the dorm room. We should keep looking all around the car. I know it's quiet, but we just got to keep looking all around. Pamela, you, you've corrected it, and then for some strange reason, you, you turn your wheel one full turn to the right. You've got your wheel straight. Why have you turned another full turn for? I do not know. Thank you if you just turn left out of here. Well done, Pamela. Uh, very painful watching that. It's a pass with one fall for shunting the car forwards and then backwards. Good stuff, Pamela. And then we're going to come round the block and drive in the same beer, okay?
and can you drive it forward into the bed? it up with the right or the left. Just reverse it up the left. Well done Pamela, this will be a pass with no faults recorded. Really good observations when reversing out of the beer. Pamela realises she's on a national speed limit road and she makes good progress along this road and makes good use of the gears. Loving the mirror work Pamela, as soon as she sees the warning sign she's looking in that middle mirror to see what's directly behind. Well done Pamela. After 400 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, A167. Pamela, you missed the right door mirror. You wouldn't be marked on your test unless somebody was overtaken and you chucked that signal on and frightened the life out of them. So get that door mirror in middle right. Go right on the roundabout and take the second. Good decision to go at the roundabout, Pamela, and the timing of the mirror signal manoeuvre is inch perfect. Well done. Street. 
minor fault number two for Pamela. Pamela, you look in that middle mirror for turn and right. You've seen the car behind you. You should have told them that you were turning right here. Now, you've got your positions telling the traffic behind that you turn right, but you need to confirm that with a signal. How can you forget the signal here? Wait on the roundabout and take the second exit. Great work with the mirrors, Pamela. I like the way you check your middle left and react to what you see by putting that signal when you see the blue car. But you know the drains? Did you know that they're for the rainwater? They're not for your car. Driver fault number three for Pamela. Pamela, you've got a 30 sign to the left. You have a 30 sign to the right. You've got the 20 sign that says when lights is flashing 20 miles per hour. Now you've got your speed down to 22 miles per hour in the 30 zone. Could you explain why you did this? Was it because you thought it was 20 or were you just being a bit cautious? Well done here, Pamela. It looks like you've learned from your last lesson. When you were turning uh, right on one of your mock tests, you didn't look at the road markings and you didn't go at the hatch markings and you failed for this. Now, learner drivers would actually fail for going into this box here when there's oncoming traffic turn right. So you've looked at the markings. I like that we got the mirrors and signaling straight away. I like that. Really good stuff. But then you've looked at the road markings, position the car properly. So neat work, Pamela. Well done. Darren Road. Pamela, minor fault number four, this is for undue hesitation. When you look to the right, there was a vehicle to your right, about a bus length away from the roundabout. It was indicating left. You should have drove straight onto the roundabout.
100 yards, cross the roundabout, and take the second exit, Clyde Terrace. Cross the roundabout, and take the second exit. Pamela, this is excellent. This is what we're looking for. You've, you've come to the roundabout. There's no cars to your right, but you've got cars at 12 o'clock in the left lane. There's three. This roundabout's really small. It does, they are right on top of you, but you drive your car straight onto the roundabout. This is excellent. This is what you need to be aiming for. This is really good stuff. Minor fault number five for Pamela. Pamela, what you've done is you, you've mounted the curb. Now, I only give it a minor fault because only half the wheel went on the curb and you took it straight back off. Had the full wheel gone on the curb, then it might have been a different story. Pamela, the reason you've hit the curb for is because you took your eyes off the curb. Once you've picked your spot, which was just a car length back from this parked car, keep your eyes on the curb and you will not hit the curb. Nice controlled angle start, Pamela. I'm liking the coordination of the feet today. Really good, really smooth. Well done. Take the next road to the left, just round this bend where the bus stop is. Just left the bus stop is here. Pull up alongside and just reverse the back in the position. Pamela, you, you finished too wide away from the curb because, you, as you know, your, your second reference point, you steered far too early. You should have let the door handle go on top of the curb and then put your full turn onto the right. I don't know what, how you've getting mixed up with this. However, I really like what you do. You realise you're too far away from the curb. You decide to give the manoeuvre another go. You look all around the car before you do this. So this is all good stuff. This is what you need to do. Well done.
First serious fall for Pamela. Oh. Pamela, you need to keep looking all around, as you know. You've got to be wary of other road users. Now, there was a car coming up the right-hand side. Now, you should have been aware of this and stopped to see what he was going to do, to see whether he's going to come past or wait. But you just carried on through the manoeuvre because you were staring. Now, that could have been a motorbike, a cyclist, or any other road user. So you need to be more aware of your surroundings. Nice observation work, Pamela. I like the way you check all three roads. Most learners here just turn right and don't even look to the left, so good stuff. And at the end of the road, turn left, and the Cassandra should kick in again. Turn left, Durham Road. Second series fall for Pamela. Oh. Ah, Pamela, um, what can I say? Very good observations looking forward and backwards. I love all that. The speed's excellent. Well done. But you forgot to check your right door mirror for the accuracy. Had you had a glance in the right door mirror, you would have seen it was going towards the curb. Then I would have expected you just to turn the wheel a couple of minutes to your left so it takes the, way, the car away from the curb. But you stared again through the back of the window in front, so you need to keep that dormer the right one just to check the accuracy also.
300 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A688. I like this Pamela at the roundabout. There's quite a lot of traffic coming from your right and they are going quite fast. Sometimes it looks like they're going to the left but they're not indicating so learners tend to pull out but you didn't. You kept your cool and just waited for a gap so this is sweet. Minor fault number six for Pamela. Pamela, you are killing me here. Can you remember that other roundabout where I just repeated and I said you're doing really, really well? Take a look at this car to your right hand side. It is a mile away. Now, it's come from 12 o'clock because it's in the left lane. So that means you should be driving straight onto this roundabout. You don't go and it, you slow right down and if you watch the two cars are all right, they just drive straight onto the roundabout. So we have to sort the gaps out of these roundabouts. Have another look at that car. It's unbelievable, that. Pamela, I, I like how you've classed these, this, the last roundabout we've done, the one where you were hesitant at, and this one here, you've classed them as straight ahead third exit, and you've kept at the left lane as you went round them. So this is really good, because most learners class these as right, but you've got this spot on, so this is good, well done.
Minor fault number seven for Panla, Panla, Pamela. And it goes down to undue hesitation again, Pamela. Gee and me. Have a look at these road markings. Now, you can, when we're approaching the roundabout, there was two cars coming from, well, say, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and they were in the left lane. Now, if you have a look at the road markings, they've got to go straight ahead. So you should be driving your car straight onto this roundabout. But you hesitate and pick another minor fall for undue hesitation. When you come back of your holiday, you can explain all this to me. Minor fault number eight, Pamela, for stalling. It's just a minor because she's got straight back on and it didn't affect other road users. I did have a fail last week and the pupil failed for stalling, so I'm guessing it must have affected other road users. Minor fault number nine for Pamela. Uh, Pamela, it's uh, you didn't signal to leave the roundabout. Now it doesn't matter so much because it's like control, but there was a lot of traffic about, and there was a car close behind, so I'd still signal to leave the roundabout. Had there been nobody there at all behind us or any of the cars about, I wouldn't have signal. Uh, I wouldn't have marked this. Third serious fall for Pamela. Oh. Pamela, it's gone down to hesitation. You're far too hesitant on the roundabouts. It's become an habitual fault. Now, if, you, if when you look into the right here, you can see that tractor. Now, that tractor cannot emerge onto the roundabout because of it, the two cars to the tractor's right. And them two cars to the tractor's right were in the left lane, so that means they're going straight ahead at the roundabout. You should have been driving the car straight ahead. You should have just drove straight onto the roundabout. What happens is you just stop. Now the car behind us, this impatient Audi driver, he toots the horn at us because we're holding him up. There's no need to stop here, Pamela. So I hope you, there's some good learning points on this video. So I hope you're going to watch this video and learn from it.
Go on then. How do you think you went? Um, three serious faults? Yes, you've got a bang on three serious faults. Can you tell me what all four? Um, indicating um, right and then going straight ahead. Indicating right and going straight ahead. Where was that at? Uh, one of the roundabouts. Mm. And it said very to the right and I flicked the indicator up for right and then I just went straight ahead. I don't know where you mean. Right, you've got three, anything else? Parallel talk, you had to be aware of the, you know, the car that was coming yeah. from your right. You, that could have been a motorbike or a cyclist, so you had to be more aware of what's up around the car when you're reversing. Mm -hmm. You know when you went in the first time? You only needed a full turn, you put one and a half. But you've done the right thing by cranking, you did get the car in, so well done with that. But you've got to be more aware of what's happening mm -hmm. around the car. He could have just come past. It could have been a wide road, like you say. It could have been a motorbike or a cyclist. Um, pull up on the right. Go on, explain that one. Which one? Pull up on the right-hand side of the road. When have you ever done that? You've never, ever done that one, have you? Oh, the curb, yeah. How did you mount the curb? I don't know. I don't know. Learn his favourite scene. So... Pamela, there was some really good stuff there. There was, there's a few minor faults, but there's some really good stuff, but was it the roundabouts? We've done a lot harder roundabouts than this, and um, you were far too hesitant at the roundabouts. Did it not feel like that to you? I didn't see the indicator, because it had a tiny, the tractor had a very tiny indicator, so I couldn't Right, I, I get that, I get that. I didn't see it was indicating. I'm really not bothered if it's indicating or not. But there was about three or four times you were hesitant. Now when I put this on video, I need you to look at this and learn from this because there's some good learning points on here. Can you remember the big blue owl he tooting its own at us? Yeah. Right. Now, we've done a lot harder roundabout than this. You've worked on much harder roundabouts, so I can't understand for the life of me why you... Why you would stop there for? Tell me why you would stop. I wasn't sure they were gonna go. Pamela, <laughs> please tell me why you were gonna why you should go there for. You know you should go, don't you? Well, yeah, but by the time they were passing, I didn't think I would have enough time. Pamela, which lane are they in? Left. Where have they got to go? Uh, left, straight ahead. Yeah. They've got to go straight ahead. What should you be doing? Go. I'm not worried about the tractor. I'm not worried about the track because that track has got to give way to them. You've seen them in the left lane, you should be driving on the roundabout. There was one roundabout you came to. You've seen a car like that, guess what you've done? You drove mm. straight on the roundabout and I'm going to give you praise for that then. You come to another roundabout and then you do the exact opposite, why? <laughs> right, well, when I get this uploaded, you're going to watch it all and learn from yeah. it because some good learning points. Unfortunately for me, Pamela's going to jet around the world for about three weeks, aren't you? Two. Two weeks, so we'll not see her driving skills for a while. I hope you're not going to forget everything. <laughs> um, have you any questions before I turn this off? No. Are you sure? Yeah. All right.